Okay, hello, good day, good night, good whatever. Welcome to Stress Test Video Guide, as quickly and concise as I can possibly make it. First thing you'll need is Ada64. The basics will be fine. You launch it, you go to Tools, you hit System Stability Test, and you bring this up. So you want to take Stress CPU, Stress FPU, and Stress Cache. Do not take Stress System Memory. If you do CPU alone, it's too light, and if you do FPU alone, it's too heavy. So you want to have these three for a realistic, balanced, heavy workload. Some games will even be heavier than this, right? So just keep that in mind. Next, you want Unigine Heaven. And what you want to do is, you want to go Quality Ultra, Tessellation Extreme, and say this thing on ATEX, not full screen, and a resolution that is one step down from your native. So my native is 1080p, uh, so I have selected the one step down, 1600 by 900 for mine. And you can minimize that. And the next thing you want to do is you want to start hardware info. So start it, you check sensors only, as you see here, hit run. Just wait for this to boot, mine usually freezes for a little bit while I boot. While it is frozen, I'll say I will leave links in the description to download all of these. And right, so first things first, let's set up hardware info. We go configure sensors. What you want to do is, you want to change the global setting. This will be at 2000 when you get it. You want to set this to about 500 and set the disk smart and embed controller every two cycles. Then you have to hit set. If you do not hit set and you just hit OK, it will reset itself. Okay? So make sure you hit set. And then you have this here. You open this out twice. And when you give us the screenshot of what's going on, please make sure that the following things are important. So we need to see your CPU temperatures. Sorry, let me get that phone on. Just vibrate so you need CPU temperatures CPU clock speeds CPU load and we need this section with the power limits right you you're not seeing my power limit one but if you're on a modern system you will but we need to see CPU package power and IA cores power and finally we need to see your video card so we're gonna look at this one. This one is my primary. This is here is what we need to see. All right? So let's begin. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna just hit run here. It'll take a while to boot, that's fine. Just wait for it. Once you make sure that this is running first, that's not a problem. You don't need to hit benchmark. You can turn off the sound. Here's here's with sound. You can turn off the sound. Turn off the sound is fine. Now, once that's in the background, you go to IDA and you just hit start. You can completely ignore these IDA graphs because, as you can see, they don't match up. Hardware info will generally tell us everything we need to know. Now, right after you start, you're gonna hit this clock down here. This clock will reset everything so that we can see your averages on the side and we can see your temperatures as they go up we can see how much power you're pulling we can see how your video card is functioning blah 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 whatever have you okay once this is going on for approximately 15 minutes over here in either then you could, what you can do is you just try to get this a little bit out of the way. So like that. Once we can see the elapsed time, so we know that you aren't, you know, messing with us. And the elapsed time also in hardware info, so we know that they kind of match up. Then you take a screenshot. We can see heaven in the background. We can see either here. We have all the relevant information in hardware info. And then we can make the judgment please make sure to use a screenshot taking program you can use gazo you can use 
uh, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want. I don't care if it's Windows snipping too. Just make sure that you get everything here in a screenshot from the computer. Do not use your phone. Do not use anything that could leave out information or be hard to read. Okay, right. So when you're done with everything now, uh, I guess you know. Then you can just stop. You stop and close this after. It's fine. Just make sure you you get the test while it is still running. Okay. All right. Have a good day and good luck.